Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time we are going to do a video on how to connect your GeoFi device to a router, wireless router or a wire router, whatever, uh, with a Ethernet cable. Now as you know, Geo device does not come with a Ethernet cable. It comes with one port, which is this one. This is a micro USB port, which can be used for charging and for connecting it to the computer to use this as a uh, internet connection a wired internet connection so now we are going to use that wired internet connection we are going to give that to the computer and take an output from the computer as a ethernet cable and then give it to a router so it sounds a little complicated uh, but it's not uh, I have tried a few other uh, options but uh, those options are not that reliable but uh, I've been testing and uh, this one that I'm showing you right now is the most reliable one and it works perfectly fine. Uh, whenever the network goes down, I can tell you how to fix it also. So it's it's a very easy fix. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see what all you need. For okay, so the first item that you need is a GFI router itself. The second item is the data cable, the micro USB data cable that comes with the GFI. Uh, if not, you can use any other data cable, but make sure it's a data cable, not a charging cable. Uh, that should work fine. Uh, the third item is a uh, Ethernet cable itself. So this will be used to connect uh, the computer to the router. And the fourth item is the router itself. So I'm using the uh, MI router. You can use any router. It's fine. There's no restriction. Okay, so let's start the process. First of all, you have to connect the GFI device with a USB cable to the computer. Keep that aside. And make sure your GFI is on. Now, we have to go into the network settings. So, we'll go in over here. Uh, for, I mean, the sh short way is to just go into the taskbar. Uh, the notification icons you'll see a small computer over there right click on it hit open network and sharing center that will open this window up and then hit change adapter settings now this is for windows 10 if you're using some other windows uh, the options will be similar but uh, placed somewhere else so you see geo usb now this is my geofi connected to the computer let me just show you now if I remove this, it's gone. I'll put it back. It's back. So it is connected to this GFI. Hence proved. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to take the internet from this connection and give it to my Ethernet port. So now I have put in the Ethernet cable onto the computer. Now what I'll do is I'll connect it to the Ethernet port over here. Now uh this is the important part you need to put it in the input port of the router not in the output one let me focus into that okay so this is the input port that's the output port so on all the routers you'll have one ethernet input port rest will be output ports now if you do not find the ethernet port uh, uh input ethernet port then that means you're using a router which is a DSL router without a Ethernet port it might be a phone connection a regular phone port over there or uh, maybe you have a, a cable connection there that's for DSL uh, so it really depends on what router you're using this uh, scenario is for a uh, router with an Ethernet port so we'll go ahead and put the cable now notice on the screen as I put this in before I do that let me just show you now you see that the ethernet port has an X mark on it. Now I'll put this cable in. And now you'll see that the X mark has gone. So that shows that it has connected. The power is there. So make sure that that is working. Uh, you do not have an X mark over there because a lot of times people uh, try this method but it does not work because the ethernet cable is not connected properly or uh, the ethernet cable is bad because it uh, it's prone to um, get spoiled very soon so now we see two connections ethernet that's for the computer usb geo usb that is from my geo now i have to share this so i'll go into the geo usb right click 
hit properties i'll have a tab named sharing i'll go into sharing hit allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and then who do i want to allow i'll i want to allow ethernet port so i do have option of wi-fi also uh, but it depends on you if you want to do a Wi-Fi hotspot then you can uh, choose this option and create a hotspot also uh, If you want me to tell you about that uh, I will make a separate video for that uh, But if you already have a geofi then I don't know why will you want a hotspot from here But uh, hit ethernet hit ok Now the sharing has started so so the geofi is sharing uh, the geofi over here is sharing its, its internet with the ethernet port now the ethernet port is connected to the wi-fi router and the router now has internet let's go ahead and test it now okay let me just show you which internet am i on so i'm on ken knows more i'm connected to that one and let's open up chrome okay so it's working okay so let's go ahead and do a speed test on the computer and on the phone so let's try the phone first Okay, so I get around 12.78 Mbps. Let's go on to the computer. Okay, so I got around 13.7 Mbps on the computer. So it's almost similar. So you get high speed out of this. Whatever high speed your Geo device gives the computer, that is transferred to the uh, Geo, uh, the, the transferred to the router, and then the router gives it to uh, whatever device is connected. Now, why I use this process is because uh, the MI router has some special features where it can uh, block internet, check internet, uh, check uh on devices uh, control the devices blacklist channels and do a lot of things now all that i cannot do with the regular uh, repeater mode a repeater mode does not allow all that because it's just giving you whatever internet or whatever feature your primary device is giving so that's why i've uh, been using this connect this way uh, the connection this way and it works perfectly fine so i'm happy with it uh, it does go down sometimes, but if it goes down, all you have to do is just restart your computer. It should work fine. Uh, if not, just restart your Geo router and it will work fine. So in all the scenarios, all that you have to do is just restart. Uh, if that also doesn't work, then just go into the internet settings, the ethernet uh, settings, and then um, uncheck the sharing option, save it, uh, close it, and then reopen it, and then uh, check the, say, uh, the sharing option again and that should work fine uh, if you have uh, any other problems if you still face any problem do leave a comment and i'll help you out with that too so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye